Hi everyone. So for the past couple weeks I've been traveling and going to a lot of conferences and stuff. All summer I've been going to a ton of events. And I tend to try and go and watch some of the talks when I go to these conferences. You probably do the same thing. If I go and round up all the conferences that I've been to over the years and I look at all the talks that I've seen, there's one common characteristic about presenting on stage, what makes someone have a good talk. There's one trend that is consistent across all of them. They don't pitch their product. I'm so tired of this. I see this all the time. I go to conferences, I walk in, Someone will go and give out a couple nuggets and then they just turn into a product pitch and I just want to walk out. I'm so bad we want to stand up in the audience and say boo, boo, boo I tell you, boo. I'm dying to do it. But I don't have the courage and I don't want to get punched in the face. Because I think this face is pretty punchable if I'm going to be honest with you. If you get the chance to speak on stage or be on a panel or do any of those things, you can't pitch your product. You can bring up your product in little subtle ways but you can't make the main subject of your conversation about your product. And it's so easy to see and detect when it's gonna happen. You might not be aware of it as a speaker, but there are people in the audience that are rolling their eyes with the things that you say. The whole purpose of a talk at a conference is to build interest in someone wanting to talk to you as a person. You're supposed to give value to people. Use the conversation to build up awareness of you as an individual brand repping your company. Once you've given enough value as a person, they'll come to you, they'll talk to you, they'll add you on LinkedIn, they'll email you, they'll go grab your card after. If you have a booth, they'll come to your booth afterward and talk to you. We do conversations at Lead IQ, for example, and I go do a talk somewhere. I don't go and pitch our product. I might sneak little subtle things about the product in there. Like, oh, here's an email I got with Lead IQ. Let's jump into this. Here's a phone number I got with Lead IQ. This is what I'd say on the cold call. I might sneak some things like that into my conversation, but I'm not talking about my product or why. It's not the right way to go when you're doing this stuff that you go to conferences. People pay a lot of money to go to conferences. I went to one conference, for example, where it cost $1,800 for someone to just get a ticket just to learn. You know what happened in that $1,800? Every talk that I went to was someone pitching their product. They would lead up with a big problem and you think, wow, this problem sounds like a huge issue. I hope they talk about how we're gonna fix it. This problem sounds like a big issue. These are some symptoms that cause it. No, you know what they do? They present the problem and then they pitch your solution. The find that it's okay to pitch your product is if you're going somewhere where that's the expectation and the audience is expecting to hear a pitch. But when I go to conferences that I've paid money for as an attendee, I don't wanna hear you pitch your product. I don't care about your product. I'm going there to get better. I wanna learn about how to do better in sales, prospecting, management, marketing, demand gen, you name it. Those are the things that I really care about. If you're gonna be presenting for some reason for your company and they're giving you the opportunity, you don't pitch your product, you give advice. Write a talk that gives people value, that educates the audience, that's entertaining and fun, makes it relatable, has real stories and real takeaways that someone can do. If you do these things, you'll have much better conversations and you'll be able to convert a lot more people into actual leads eventually. If you lead with value, people are gonna feel like they know you. If people know you, they're way more likely to actually wanna buy from you afterward. If you wanna learn a little bit more about prospecting at events and how to get some more leads at events, we did a webinar last year with the AISP and we're gonna release it out of our vault and let you watch the webinar if you want. You should totally check it out. Boo, boo I tell you, boo.